is that free too? Uh, it, it technically is free, but then it limits what you can do with it. Okay. But then you can pay for the subscription to go ahead and do more. But you know, we can go ahead and have our, have our little streamer you, you talk can, a little you later. Can, you Let's can hop into later. game one, future. Going against Vermillion here in Ludo. No, quarters? You should give somebody's somebody a tag. He's saying four RPS and someone else. Okay, we'll, we'll find we'll, out a little we'll later. We'll find out later. But 24% already Rose. racked up on four. For RPS and Rose, it looks like. Uh, I'm assuming the Rose is from Rose Quartz because I know he's a big fan of Yeah, that's universe. right. That's right. His, that's his waifu. Mm -hmm. Somehow his waifu is a war criminal. I don't understand why he chose that. But anyway, right now... Slashing. Vermillion, yeah, getting a couple cross lashes off already at 58%. Ooh, wow, he hit him with that strikes. But here we go, dash attack yet again. Nope. Putting Future off stage. And if it, even though it doesn't look like it right now, this is actually a matchup that genuinely Future is... Okay, I know it really doesn't look like it right now. The Future is genuinely good at are, this Are you matchup. sure about that? Yeah. No, I, no, I mean, are, I, are you sure about that G-Pick? I, I was pretty sure. I'm... I'm I'm pretty sure about that still. I, I'm not so sure about that. Vermillion is going in here, right now. He's sending, sending a message to this farmer. He was like, yo, your crops, they ain't good. They spoiled. They rotten. I ain't about it. This is one cow you're not milking. But no, F Future is good enough at this matchup that he forces Stark off of Ike. Like, I mean, off of uh, off of Cloud. He's, he forces him to Ike, Ooh. specifically just for him. Oh my goodness, Vermillion going all the way out there. He's going to down for another downer. Yes, he did. The uppy and oh! the Vermillion basically with a two-stock. That was essentially a two-stock, yeah. No, but like that's impressive to me because Stark be has multiple shaky wins with his Cloud mm -hmm. and yet cannot be Future with his Cloud, like mm -hmm. at all. So... I, I feel like Future does have some insight into how to play this matchup. Yeah, Jimmy, that's fine. All I gotta say is, yo, this ain't Stark. This, this is a million. This, <laughs> hey, NorCal, this isn't Stark. <laughs> hey, NorCal, not Stark here. All right, so here we go into the next game. Future automatically kind of picking him to Final Destination, which, you know, I actually do like this pick. Already throwing him right back off stage, and I like that. Definitely needs to go ahead and keep up that pressure, and the DI in. Coming on for Vermillion, knowing what he needs to do for survival DI, because if he DI'd out, he was going to eat a bunch of fairs, but leading to him being offstage. Future's just trying to wait for his moment. Actually finds himself a PK fire instead. No, like this this good open space here on FD is actually coming up a lot more than anything else. Future kind of slowing it down. And <laughs> as I'm saying that, when he gives Vermillion an inch, he is just taking it all the way. Oof, almost waits for the very end of that down air. I like the idea that Future had, trying to punish just the ending of it. Oh, roll get up. He recognizes what happened to him the first stock last game. Tries to cover with the tail, and he does. You see? Yep. He's got some tricks in this I matchup. I feel like in that situation, Vermillion should have just eaten the hit. Yes, just because when you get hit by the PK Thunder, you go up. Yeah. And with Cloud, that actually helps you out a lot more because he could have just drifted back down and possibly snapped or even just went above the ledge, kind of just... Tempting future to try to hit him out. Yeah, Cloud with one of the fastest horizontal air drifts in the game. Yep, all right, but very good frame chop from that forward air leading into the up tilt. Still not going to go ahead and take that stock. The dash attack! No, it's not going to do it. Future still living. Future going to the edge. Somehow staying sparse for getting a nice up air into grab. Solid 27%. He's going to need to stay sparse against those up airs, though, and he does. Ooh, the gay fire coming out. Nice chase Showing out that mixtape. Ooh, that was a great situation for future trying to get a jab lock, but he ends up backing off instead. Future playing really nice this second game. <sighs> Finally gets picked off on his head. Vermillion with the full limit still. Vermillion just trying to show off his movement, getting a down air to up air, chasing down in his own back row. Grabbing him right out of that roll as yeah. well. Finally a dash attack coming out from Future, just stopping all, all this momentum so far. But right now, Vermillion, his movement is just so much more immaculate than Future. Future is just capitalizing on really the opportunities that are presented to him. Mm -hmm. And a Vermillion just looking to sniff out some options, trying to cover everything at once. Future nearly oh, makes it through gonna it all. Get dunked. That's going to be it. Vermillion going up 2-0. And there we go. And I, I, I think I read Vermillion's lips. I think he said same ban. Mm -hmm. I don't know what he banned, but it's the same one. Possibly Battlefield? Or Lilac? I'm not I mean, sure I, where Ness would like to go. I'm, I'm trying to think where Ness would like to go that would scare a Cloud. Because like a Triplat stage, Clouds love Triplats. Town. It might be town. Yeah. It might be. Maybe I town. know. I know. I know. Clouds don't mind town, but yeah, they don't. But I feel like Vermillion doesn't want to go ahead and die very early from back throw and up air, of course. Oh, true. True. Yeah. 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 
All right, but here we go. Straight back to FD. Really, what, what I want to see from Future is just keep up the pressure that he has been doing when he gets him off stage and keeping up the advantage state when he does get it. Yeah. But at the same time, I just feel like he's allowing Vermillion to dictate the pace of this match by himself. Like, so far, Future is on the defensive and he's just taking advantage of what Vermillion leaves open. He's not trying to go ahead and establish what he wants himself. Mm-hmm. Oh, but still that reverse there, oh, not gonna go ahead and land. It, but no, the power shield comes on through. Vermillion gets in again, gets another edge. Like, when Vermillion is on the ledge Ooh. against Future, this tends to end very poorly for Future. Ooh, I like that landing trap with the PK fire. I'd like to see him do that more, actually. Our mixtapes coming out, and Vermillion showing no fear. Yeah. Scooping him up with that down. He's like, hey, 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 I'm not, I'm not just another scrub. I see that I am free from this PK Thunder. Because that's, that's the interesting thing. Uh, Vermillion's told me his favorite character to play in this game is actually Ness. Yeah. Like, as. I've seen it. I mean, yo, Vermillion at the same time told him, like, yo, this is a cool light show you got right here. Let, let me just go ahead and hit you up. It's like, this is fine. You're sparkling. You're trying to act like you're Super Saiyan Blue, but, you know, in <laughs> actuality, you ain't nothing. Yeah, no, the, the only Super Saiyan Blue in this game is actually Limit Cloud. Mm -hmm. All right, oh, oh, my goodness! Oh, him out of that Air Dodge and 3 0 Vermillion over Future. The call out of the Air Dodge retreating to the ledge. Very, very smart stuff by Vermillion, and like oh man, I'm yo the, the farmer himself getting butchered. Yeah, that is so impressive because again, this is this is a matchup that 